Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. For my own personal notes, this is part two of the energy reading for Jay. Um, I just wanted to say I had already actually, I've already done the meditation portion of your energy reading. I just haven't filmed it. Um, so this this section, I'm I'm doing it kind of backwards, like I'm doing the, the tarot portion first, but I did do your meditation already. So I will say, since I haven't filmed it, um, what from what I remember of it is there is so much emotion surrounding you. Um, there's a lot of blue surrounding you. Um, and I just have to say it's beautiful energy, but it there is a lot of emotions around you. And it could be your own. Um, I'm curious to know, and we'll see if the cards kind of reveal it, um, but I feel like you feel other people's vibes. I feel like you have that ability. I feel like you can sit in a room and you just know without talking to people. It's like you know their story. You know what they're feeling or what, what, what mood they're in. Um, you are very sensitive to emotions. Um, I also feel because of that, you harbor other people's emotions as your own. And um, it was kind of showing in your in your aura, like when I was thinking about it. Your aura is very purple and blues, but gem tones. And I feel like um, it's a sensitive. It's a to me that's a sign of being sensitive. Um, I also feel like we'll just I'll just start pulling cards. But um, I feel like you need to be careful with emotions. Um, you need to find a way of release because it does give you um, anxiety. It may give you headaches at times. It may make you sick to your stomach. There are literally, I feel, side effects, physical side effects that you're feeling because of this kind of stuff. And you may not always understand it. You may just think you're, you're getting sick or you ate something that didn't agree with your stomach or whatever. But I feel a lot of the times it is because you are literally like a sponge. You are harboring other people's feelings and their problems. And sometimes you confuse it for yourself. So <laughs> that let that be um, what it is. Like I said, I have not filmed your other portion of your reading but I did do the meditation part and that's what was coming up so um, I'm gonna do your tarot reading now so let's pull cards on you didn't have a, a specific question you just kind of wanted to see what what comes up so that's what we're gonna do this is the art of love tarot I'm gonna be reading with and I'm also gonna be pulling the constellation cards that I have here I love them they're so <laughs> they are so straightforward so let's see let's see what messages come through for you ace of trees we have abundance the divine order equilibrium eight of stars we have a surge oh a surge of abundance a surge of balance is needed and that is exactly what I was talking about I love that she's holding this little globe here of blue to me it's like she's holding the planet neptune neptune is our um neptune is about illusions and mystery and and psychic abilities and um intuition so that's the first thing i'm noticing okay is the blue orb and let me pull out since i have my planets here this is neptune it's a blue planet right i feel like it's like that's what she's holding and we were just talking like I was just telling you about how I feel like you're so you are so connected to emotions and you are so connected to feelings um, but the divine order is like it's kind of equilibrium to me this is like saying you need balance you need balance in your emotions deciphering your feelings versus other people's emotions being able to tell the difference that's big for you um, we have Ace of Trees, which is, like I said, abundance, and Aces are new beginnings. Aces are all about starting fresh, starting over. It's a new path that's coming through. When we have tree energy, to me, it's like, I always think of trees as abundance, but I also see trees as the importance of needing, needing to be grounded and rooted. When trees are not rooted, they are dying. They are falling apart. So I feel like for you also, it's really important that you start grounding. And that is exactly what I was talking about earlier when I was saying that you need to 
um, be grounded and figure out your emotions from other people. When we are emotional sponges, and I say we because I do the same thing, um, we really soak in everybody's feelings. And like as an example, you may be in a deep conversation with a friend, and this friend may be pouring their entire life out to you, right? And after the conversation, how do you usually feel? Are you exhausted, depleted? Do you feel like you are harboring their emotions? Do you feel like you are actually taking on their stresses? Um, that's really common traits of being an empath. And so I wanna say from my own experience as well with that, we have to find a way to let go. We have to find a way to kind of bubble up, like just like how this beautiful little angel here is holding this globe of Neptune. Like I'm calling it Neptune for you, but that's what I feel. But she's, it's almost like you're, you're bubbling up. You were holding on to all of these emotions that you were feeling and doing something with it. It's like you have to compress it all so that you know these are other people's feelings these are not my feelings. And you can differentiate other people's emotions and anxieties and worry from your own. When you start feeling everybody's emotions, it'll drive you crazy. <laughs> because you won't know, am I feeling like this because it's my own emotion or is it someone else? And I truly feel like that is something that you struggle with. So let's pull from the constellation cards I want to see. Just kind of curious. We have protect, Sagittarius. Sagittarius with protect, protecting you, protecting your heart. Oh, we have another purple card. We have Pyxis. This is guide. I love it. And then we have Pisces. Oh, I don't I can't even read these. Pisces Astrinus Intuition. I'm telling you, girl, you are very, 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 very very intuitive, very psychic, very um, open emotionally. Um, I just, I feel it for you. I feel like you, if you've ever heard of the term empath, you are one, okay? Read it. If you've never read up on it, Google. Just Google empath. Um, you will find so many articles about it. And it's just talking about how we feel emotion, Okay, that's one of the psychic abilities that people have is being able to feel emotion. Um, a lot of times when you're an empath, people will come to you and tell you their whole story even though you don't know who they are. <laughs> so if you are like at work and you have complete strangers just, just telling you their stories, that is a common trait of an empath. People feel very comfortable with us. They feel like they can open up and tell us their whole story. Um, so if you're noticing that with yourself, I feel, you know, that's what's going on there. You need to trust that. So, um, let's, uh, let's pull some more cards about this. Let's pull, what do you need to know right now? Now that we kind of laid a foundation of what you're dealing with. What do you need to know right now? And this card wants to pop out. <laughs> Universe in reverse. Authority in reverse. Partnerships and alliances, love begins. So with you, this is you discerning. You right now do not have authority. You're not able to discern your emotions from others. I'm feeling like that too. I'm feeling like the authority card is kind of saying you don't have full-blown control over your abilities right now. Um, I feel like when it comes to dealing with other authority figures, so this could be bosses, this could be, you know, higher ups in your family, whatever, you have a smaller voice. And I feel like what you need to practice on is really strengthening your voice, strengthening your ability to stick up for yourself, to stand up for yourself, to be an authority figure in your own life. Okay. With the universe in reverse, it's kind of saying right now, um, you may be feeling stagnant in your life. There may be kind of things, events taking place that are slow moving in the process. Maybe you feel like you haven't really done much with your life in the last couple months. Um, that's okay. Sometimes the process is slow and is, in a, is kind of like in pause for a moment because there's things that you have to... <clears throat> 
to learn more about about yourself it's like there's little lessons there that you still have to go through before you know this universe is going to say okay you get the green light you can go you know what i mean so there's nothing wrong with that it's just kind of saying i feel one of the main lessons that you're being handed over is finding your own voice i feel like that's a huge one for you is finding your own voice and your ability to stick up for yourself we have partnerships and alliances and then we have love begins i don't know if you're in a relationship if you are, um, like I said, finding your voice in this relationship, okay, being more partners than someone else, you know, having, you need to have like equality in your relationship is what I'm saying. Um, you know, one of you isn't always going to be the breadwinner and, and dominant, more dominant than the other. Like there should be equalness in your relationships. If you are single, this is important too. Um, it's important that you 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 establish that with your next person that you are dating or who you're dating or whatever that you're in a partnership with them you know you have to learn to be to have a louder voice i feel to be more firm with what you want and what you're looking for in love and in, in relationships the love begins card is also kind of making me feel if you are single that there could be love entering your life um, and that might be for you now that you know all of this stuff. Um, this actually might help you in, in a new relationship. So one would be tapping into your feelings, you know, feel them out, especially when you're going on like dates and stuff, feeling out these people and feel, you know, how do I vibe with this person? How are they making me feel? What kind of emotions, you know, are my red flags going off and trusting your intuition? Because I feel like you are so much more psychic than you give yourself credit for. Um, but I feel a lot of your lessons right now that you need to learn um, revolve around being your own authority, finding your true voice, that kind of thing. Um, and then also getting a handle on dealing with emotion, learning how to decipher what is your emotion versus someone else. So that's really cool. <laughs> that's really, really cool. Um, I'm excited for you because I know when I first started to realize that I was an empath, it answered so many questions for me um, because I was like, oh my God, I'm not crazy or I'm not moody. I am just feeling everything. Um, and it makes so much sense. So I do hope that that kind of, um, I hope that that makes sense for you too. I hope that that gave you some clarity. I'm going to pull, um, because I have my mermaid deck here, I'm going to pull some water cards for you because I said like I said in your meditation that I did I was feeling intense water vibe um and so I'm gonna I want to pull some of these cards for you because I think they will speak to you and maybe you have an interest in water animals I don't know <laughs> but let's just let's just go with it so take these cards these messages as guidance for you I'm going to pull three because I like to work in threes. Let's do this one. Let's do the one on the bottom. Okay. So they're all upside down. <laughs> okay. We have the water nymph. The first step to wisdom is understanding. The first step to wisdom is understanding. Powerful, right? understanding your experience understanding yourself your abilities as an empath understanding why you were going through what you're going through understanding your emotions that is your first step to wisdom <laughs> they're all upside down okay <laughs> next we have laurel lee your aim achieved brings satisfaction and accomplishment so pretty your aim achieved brings satisfaction and accomplishment so it's basically what you want what you achieve what you what you want to achieve in life what you are aiming at your goals will bring you satisfaction I also feel like spirit is saying limit your limit your priorities I feel like you have a lot of different things there's a lot of like different doorways and opportunities for you right now um, I feel like spirit is saying limit it to maybe two, 
two things. Focus on two avenues in your life. Get a handle on it before you do something else. Try not to overload yourself. And then lastly, we have the mermaid's purse. You attract good fortune and bring justice to those who may destroy you. You attract good fortune and bring justice to those who may destroy you. So basically saying, I feel like the energy here is just saying, um, when you really understand your ability to discern your emotions from other people's and you trust your intuition and you can feel when someone's vibe is negative or not, you can actually save your ass. <laughs> you could save your ass from dealing with some negative stuff you can save yourself from dealing with some you know some situations that might be uncomfortable and you could bring justice to those who destroy you it's kind of like you know uh, that's a tricky one i want to say i just i feel like intuitively it's kind of, it's kind of like when you trust when you trust your vibe it's like you're saving yourself from some d difficulties we'll put it that way so I love that. I think that that is a beautiful message to, um, to end on. I think that, oh, I, I don't know. I feel like you're going to start to understand yourself so much more now that you know that there's a term for what you are experiencing. I think that there's, it's going to have an aha moment for you. I truly do. We have sacrifice. I love it. As empaths, we do do sacrifices constantly for ourselves. We sacrifice our sanity, for one. <laughs> we sacrifice our emotions. We are moody. We are up and down. We are, we feel it all. We sometimes we know things we don't want to know. Sometimes we feel things we don't want to feel at that time. It's up to you to learn how to ground yourself. It is up to you to learn how to discern the mo emotions, yours from someone else. If you feel bad vibes from someone, separate yourself from them. You don't have to be in the same room with them. You know what I mean? Um, trust your feelings and embrace this gift because it is a gift. It is, it is an ability that you have. Everyone has one. We, all, we are all psychic in our own way. Just some of us are more sensitive to others, and I feel like once you understand this, you it'll make more sense why you feel how you feel at times. So embrace yourself, my love, and I wish you all of the best. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me in email, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, love.